Hey guys and welcome to another episode of I Spy the Spy Vault Guide series. Today we're going to be doing the vaults I wanted to do quite some time ago but couldn't due to bugged AI. And that is the Uranus Spy Vaults. These are only the routes that I use and find really reliable. It's amazing to hear how so many people do it differently in the comments. However, I hope this is useful for you so sit back and enjoy the video. Okay, so we're probably the hardest of the three vaults here. There's a, you know, a lot of things here that you've got to try and avoid. Like, failing the hacking. That was probably one of the worst hacking I've done in a while. So let's drop down this thing. Drop all the way down. And open this up right there. Can be a regulator here. There can also be a guard somewhere to the left. There's the regulator. There's always a guard wandering around as well. Just be careful of that regulator. There's also regulators that wander around up there. I can't see the beams, so let's go for it. Basically, you've just got to pay attention to the beams. So what I do is I tend to go up here if the wall running won't, it will actually let me, and then jump over to here. What that allows me to do is I can see that platform now, where there is sometimes a regulator that comes along. I don't see him, so let's go for it. And then wait here. I knew the timing on that was going to um, catch me otherwise. Jump up to the top of the elevator here. And then head into here. Now there is always a guard in here. There he is. There were two over the back as well. Now these were the guys that were bugged. Like he was bugged before. And so was this guy. Like up the back here. Um, if you do it stealth on Loki as I'm going to show you a little bit later. They're actually coming up here, and previously, rather than being unalerted if you hadn't set anything off, they were in an alerted state and would, you know, track you down no matter what you were doing. That was a problem, that's why the video was so like for so delayed for so long, because it was almost impossible to do on a non-stealth frame. So, that's been fixed now, I can actually show you finally how to do that on Nyx. There's a lot of timing involved, there's a lot of um, waiting, like potentially you could be waiting for the regulators for a little while, it depends on their patrol pattern because it is fairly random. Um, so, you know, that route is always going to work, you just might have to wait at certain stages a little bit longer each time, so just beware of that, it's not a, a guaranteed you can do this every single time in this particular time frame. As you can imagine, this vault is a lot easier on Loki, let's be honest here. Anything where you've got to dodge enemies is going to be easier on Loki, to be honest. So just drop down here. Now you don't have to wait for anything here. Just jump up here. Jump up to the side here. Be careful of that red layer because it will set the alarm off. Go into here. And then head over to here. Now the two guards I was talking about earlier are here. Those two were the ones that were on alert state all the time and... Would somehow manage to pathfind to your frame even if you were completely, like, just completely, um, like, stealth the entire mission. They would still be alerted, they would still work out where your frame was, and that was the reason that that vault was bugged, and you couldn't do it on a non-stealth frame. Not very easily, and not without setting off the alarms, for sure. However, that's fixed. Hooray! Okay, so this is the Sharkwing-based one. It's pretty easy, as long as you get the timing right. You can go left or right here, I always go left, this is by far the easiest and probably the quickest route as well. So we're going to head down here and we're just going to wait for a second. As you can see there are laser grids here, there are things that you can take out in the corners to destroy the laser grids but it's not really worth it. Wait for that to tie, uh, die down, go right, go left, left again, right into here, wait for a second for this one to die down, head right, head left. Right again, and then straight up into here. Now that, if you can get the timing right, as, as soon as that first one dies down, basically you, you've made it. So, then you just hack your way through the door. And then you're in the vault. There is another way, and you end up coming in through there. However, honestly, this is by far the easier, by far the quicker way. The other way requires some jumping, some avoiding of lasers. That way just requires knowing a bit of timing. So, it's something that, you know, once you've got the hang of, you will be able to blast through that really, really quickly, really, really easily. Okay, so we're at the final of the three vaults here. Let's open it up. Now, as we go in, there's always going to be a person there. 
There was always going to be a person there. However, we can avoid both of them. Just drop down to the right and head in here. Now you've got these lasers bumping up and down. What you do is wait for that to go to the bottom. Wait for that to start going up. Sprint all the way through and then slide past the last one. Again, timing is very much key here. But as soon as that goes up, then you start running and make sure to slide through the last bit because otherwise you won't make it through. Now, the next bit requires a little bit of knowledge. So, as you can see, there are actually two guys in the vault. There's one on top. You probably can't see him because he's on the C marker. And there is another one over to the side there. What you can do is basically you can sort of jump up and down, wait for him to move away. And then be your sneaky beaky like. And get the thing from behind him. And you can do that in the uh, sorties. It doesn't really matter. They're not more aware. Um, basically, use something that's got like uh, animal instinct on or something like that. Or enemy radar. Make sure that you wait for him. Because he will be standing here. And then he will move over to this console. And then he will actually go around the back here to this console. So, but once, once he's stood here, you can always go up to this bit. And then you can actually hack it without him noticing. Provided he doesn't turn around, which they never do, um, you won't actually have any problems with that. And it's a very easy vault that a lot of people make look very, very difficult. So that is going to be one thing that, uh, yeah. As long as you know the timings, that vault is very, very easy. As you can imagine, this is another one of the vaults that is much easier on Loki. There is one thing, though. Try not to use switch teleport in here. You've got to still run past these. If you switch teleport here, the guy outside gets distracted. And if they can't get to the teleport, then they will set off the alarm. So just uh, run through that like much much like you would anything else. Um, remember to slide past the last bit. Be awful at hacking. However, you don't have to worry about where like the positioning these guys are in up here. So just run up here. Be awful at hacking. Have that guy go, what the hell is going on here? And shoot him in the face. So I hope that you enjoyed my look at the Uranus Spy Vaults. I know the comments are going to be full of just use Limbo or just use Avara. But to be honest, there's only one vault that Limbo provides any significant benefit to at all, which is that he can jump through the laser layers in that tower vault. And for me, honestly, Avara is just too slow. Which is why I show Nyx as my non-stealth frame, because Nyx is amazing, clearly. And then Loki, because I feel he's the sort of best all-arounder for this. He doesn't have to worry about being in Rift Walk to interact with consoles. He can move at top speed, that sort of thing. However, these are the routes I find to be the most effective, the most reliable. There are other ways through the vaults, but these are the ones that I find work best for me. Let me know in the comments what you would do differently. Some of my own spy routes have changed since doing the videos because of your comments. I love to read them. However, for now, thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you in the next video.